This is the Daily Roundup on the EARTS Cambodia channel. A very good evening to you. I'm Andrew Barnes Roberts. Making headlines tonight. Prime Minister Hun Sen approves the vaccination of 2 million children in Cambodia aged between 12 and 17. Over 65 people are killed as floods hit Central Europe. And three Cambodian athletes prepare to head to Tokyo with the 2020 Summer Games set to open next Friday. Parents, get ready. Prime Minister Hun Sen has confirmed that Cambodia will vaccinate children aged between 12 and 17. In an announcement on Friday morning, the Prime Minister said the country will need an additional 4 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine to inoculate 2 million children in that age group. He emphasized that vaccinating children is not just about building herd immunity, but also to prepare for the reopening of schools. EAC News reporter Rayo Soko has the story. Children are now eager to go back to school. Their parents are perhaps even more so. They say learning is just not the same online, but they could soon be out of the house and back in class. The Prime Minister approving vaccines for those aged between 12 and 17. <laughs> ព្រមខ្លួនដើម្បីនាំកូននាំចៅទៅចាក់វាក់សាំងនៅពេលវេលាដែលបានមកដល់យើងចង់ឲ្យមានភាពសំក្នុងសង្គម EAC News took to the streets of Phnom Penh to ask children how they felt about getting vaccinated. Nowadays, I study at grade 10 at Great Leap High School. I'm so happy after hearing about the child vaccination, and it makes me feel safer than before. Also, it makes me feel less nervous about the spreading of this disease. And I would like to thank the government for issuing this new measure. I am ready for the vaccination. I'm so very happy after hearing this news because after I get the vaccination, I wish we can all go to school again. I would like to thank the government for preparing the child vaccination. The Prime Minister has stressed that vaccinations will be voluntary. Phnom Penh and Kandal will be first, followed by Priya Sihanouk. Still to be decided exactly when vaccinations for children will begin. As of Thursday, 54.17% of the 10 million adults target have received one dose of vaccine. Just over 4 million adults have been fully vaccinated. Reya Soko, EAC News. Another 889 new cases of COVID-19 have been reported in Cambodia. They take the total number of cases recorded in the kingdom to 65,500. There have been a further 27 deaths reported overnight. The 889 new cases include 207 imported ones. Over the past 18 months, Cambodia has notched up 5,721 imported cases. The latest deaths take the total number of COVID-19 fatalities to 1,052. On the plus side, 849 patients have been discharged from hospitals since Thursday. These take the number of successful recoveries to 57,027. The Ministry of Labor and Vocational Training is releasing another round of cash subsidies for those workers whose employment contracts have been suspended in the garment and tourism industries as a result of COVID-19. The ministry says a total of 3,180 workers, 32 factories and companies are entitled to receive the payments. They're the 63rd round of cash subsidies. Those whose jobs have been suspended for between 7 and 10 days each receive $15. There's $30 for those who have been out of work for 11 to 20 days and $40 for those whose work has been suspended for a month. The ministry has contracted Wing to handle the payments. Those who are eligible for the subsidies should have already received a text message. They have 10 days in which to collect their cash. 
The head of Cambodia's permanent mission to the UN in Geneva has highlighted the progress the country has made in terms of human rights, despite the effects of COVID-19. Mr. Anne Sokun was speaking at the 47th session of the Human Rights Council. He emphasized Cambodia's vaccination program, distance learning during the prolonged school closure, as well as freedom of opinion and expression. EAC News reporter Reo Soko has the story. Mr. Anne Sukun says human rights in Cambodia continues to be prioritized despite the pandemic. He says that through the humanitarian spirit of the government, Cambodia has provided COVID-19 vaccines for free to both locals and foreigners. He says families whose livelihoods have been affected by restrictions have been provided with cash support. With regards to freedom of opinion and expression, Mr. Sukun says Cambodia values journalists, but not those spreading what he called fake news. He says this is why government prioritized the vaccination of journalists before members of the general public. Among other progress highlighted by the head of Cambodia's permanent mission were efforts to end violence against women and children, the improvement of mental health services, and the right to housing. Raya Soko, EAC News. Well, let's take a look now at news making international headlines this Friday, the 16th of July. A swift spreading wildfire is raging through South Central Oregon for a ninth day. 2,000 homes are threatened and hundreds of people have been forced to evacuate. The so-called bootleg fire has already burnt its way through almost 86,000 hectares, raising 21 homes and 54 other buildings. Elsewhere in Oregon, firefighters dropped retardant from the air as the Grand View fire tore through Deschutes and Jefferson counties. These are just two of 60 large fires that have torched over 400,000 hectares across 12 U.S. states this fire season. Aerial footage in the Netherlands shows the full extent of flooding in Europe. Dozens of homes are underwater in the Netherlands alone. 42 people have been killed in Germany, where hundreds of troops have been called in to assist. Across the border in Belgium, two men have been swept away after torrential rain. A 15-year-old girl is missing. Record rainfall in Western Europe has caused rivers to burst their banks. The region's famous vineyards have all been flooded. And call him the luckiest guy on the planet. 18-year-old physics student Oliver Damon is to fly into space with the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos. He secured the seat in place of someone who bid $28 million in an auction. Bezos will lead an all-civilian crew in Tuesday's flight. Apart from Damon, who will be the world's youngest person to go into orbit, it'll also carry the world's oldest, 82-year-old Wally Funk. Blue Origin will rocket into space atop Bezos' New Shepard rocket. New Shepard is just over 18 meters tall and is fully autonomous, meaning it doesn't need a pilot. The launch is set for West Texas sometime on Tuesday night, Cambodian time. After the break, it's Celestio Mitsoni with your sport and lifestyle. EAC News fully supports the Royal Government of Cambodia's preventative and administrative measures against COVID-19. But we need you to play your part in helping bring the 20 February Community Transmission Event to an end. Wash your hands regularly. Sanitize wherever possible. Keep an eye on your body temperature. Use the Stop COVID QR code. And maintain a safe social distance. But above all, please, 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 wear a mask. Only together can we beat COVID-19.
the arts, Cambodia's audience is growing. Our YouTube channel now has 150,000 verified subscribers. To mark the milestone, we've received the Silver Creator Award from YouTube, given to channels with over 100,000 subscribers. YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki says the award celebrates eArts Cambodia's hard work and incredible achievement. She says not only has eArts Cambodia brought a unique voice and style to the world, but has also created valuable connections and built a community along the way. The next milestone we're going for is 1 million subscribers, and we'd really like that Gold Creator Award. So if you're not already a subscriber, head to www.youtube.com forward slash eArtsCambodia. Subscribers get all the latest breaking news and updates from Cambodia in English. We'll see you there. If it's happening and you need to know about it, you'll get it all right here. EAC News brings you updates and breaking news in English across all of eArts Cambodia's platforms and channels. YouTube, Facebook, Telegram, Twitter, and our website, www.eartscambodia.com. Join me, Andrew Barnes-Roberts, and the rest of the EAC News team every day on your favorite channels. EAC News, Cambodia made clear. Welcome back to the Daily Roundup. The Olympic Games gets underway next Friday and the Cambodian team is off to Tokyo. There is great enthusiasm around the world to celebrate the Games. After they were postponed last year, but COVID-19 is raging, there will be no spectators to cheer our athletes on. Cambodia's medal hopes rest on the shoulders of two young swimmers and one talented runner. Cambodia's three elite athletes will take part in the opening ceremony next Friday and they are due to fly out to Tokyo early next week. Secretary General of the National Olympic Committee, Mr. Bat Chambran, says the trio are swimmers 22-year-old Hem Puk, 17-year-old Kum Bum Pik Morakad and 28-year-old runner Peng Sokong. The two swimmers will compete in the 50-meter freestyle. Sokong will compete in the 100-meter sprint. Sokong holds a personal best of 10.87 seconds and says this will be his first Olympics and he's hoping to set a new record for himself. In Japan, the International Olympic Committee's president, Thomas Beck, has called Tokyo the best ever prepared city to host the Olympics, but there have already been financial drawbacks. This year's delay has cost Japan billions of dollars. The decision to hold the Games behind the closed doors is also leaving Tokyo taxpayers on the hook to refund up to $800 million in ticket sales. Football legend Diego Maradona is an icon around the world, but at a church in Mexico is the object of an actual worship. We are in the Mexican city of Puebla, where a new church opened on the 7th of July, celebrating the religion created in Argentina in 1998 by admirers of Maradona. Inside the church, the Catholic stations of the cross are recreated with photos of Maradona from his childhood to emblematic meetings with the late Cuban leader Fidel Castro and Pope Francis. The Maradonian religion has now spread to several countries around the world and has more than half a million followers. Maradona died in November 2020, shortly after celebrating his 60th birthday, having achieved soccer glory after winning the 1986 World Cup in Mexico, crowning himself as one of the best players of all time. Marcello Bucet, who opened the church, says it was a place where we can talk about football, and it is not like going to another church, sitting down and listening. People appear to be very happy. Some cry, some throw themselves at this picture or pray. Bucet admits he feels much better now that he's not the only one going loco over Maradona. Up next, stay with us for tomorrow's weather.
thank you for watching the Daily Roundup here on the eArts Cambodia channel. More breaking news and updates on our website. Check out www.e-artscambodia.com. You could also subscribe to our Telegram channel, EAC News. More from the EAC News team in the weekly roundup tomorrow night at 8. We'll see you then.